So yesterday there was an emergency hearing in Effingham County in the case that's challenging the state's gun ban and registry. There have been multiple cases filed, two in state court, one in federal court, more challenges expected. But the first that actually got a hearing scheduled was the one from attorney Thomas DeVore down in Effingham County, where he had an emergency hearing yesterday. Talked with him after that hearing and he laid out uh, a bit of what happened and what transpired. Here's attorney Thomas DeVore uh, from an update he shared with us yesterday. You know, it went, uh, it was a good hearing. It lasted for about two hours. Uh, two attorneys showed up on behalf of the attorney general and the uh, governor. Nobody showed up for representing the uh, Senator Harmon or Speaker Welch. And the judge that was assigned to the case was Judge Joshua Morrison. We had argument for about two hours on the elements of whether the temporary restraining order would be an appropriate thing for the judge to do. Judge took it under advisement and says he will issue his opinion by close of business on Friday. And uh, DeVore also sharing with us about what questions were asked during that two-hour uh, oral argument uh, challenging the state's gun ban. Here's uh, his assessment of the questions the judge asked. I mean, the judge didn't really ask any questions of the plaintiffs, of me. He had several that he asked the defendants. He was particularly interested in uh the single issue rule on how the term regulation was used uh, and, you know, maybe how broad that term might be. The, you know, he, the judge was particularly interested in the process of how, you know, this post to the legislature on a bill like this, when it's not really been something that's been vetted uh, for the public to see because of how they did the gut and replace over that two days. Judge asked about that. The judge also asked some questions when they started talking about Second Amendment issues, even though, again, we were not arguing Second Amendment violations outright. We were just arguing that that was the, you know, that was the essence of the law of trying to deal with fundamental gun rights. You know, the judge asked them questions about federal, where the federal courts sit right now on the gun regulations, et cetera. So, uh, you know, those are the types of questions he was asking the attorneys for the defendants, but not so much of the plaintiff. So again, talking with the plaintiff's attorney here, uh, Tom DeVore chatted with him yesterday after that emergency hearing in Effingham County with the state level case that he brought. Uh, And uh, the word is that the judge says he's going to take it under advisement, meaning he's going to think about it. And then by the end of business Friday, he's going to put out a ruling. What exactly is the ask that uh, DeVore is looking for? Well, what we're looking for is, again, we're asking for the judge to issue a restraining order that merely places my clients in the same position as the, again, tens of thousands of those who have been exempt from this law. You know, they have the ability to purchase if they choose, to sell if they choose, to transfer if they choose, just like all of these other exempt parties, uh, and again, under the statute, until such time as the court rules on the four underlying constitutional arguments that we've raised. We, took, we you know, argued to the court that we have raised a likelihood that one of those four issues could uh, carry the day in his courtroom. And for that reason, my clients are entitled to, again, temporary relief to be treated the same as all of those exempt persons. So DeVore arguing this in front of the Effingham County Court on Wednesday, uh, again, sharing with us after that two-hour hearing that uh, the judge is going to issue a ruling on a temporary restraining order by the end of the day Friday. But if that is granted, it's only going to impact the 860-plus clients that DeVore has uh, as part of this case. Certainly. In the short term, again, if the judge were to grant temporary relief, it would only apply to those persons named in the statute uh, or named in the case. That It's not a, an attempt at a class action for 12 and a half million people. That, you know, in the long run, though, if the, we are successful in making the arguments that we've made, in the long run, it would have the impact of finding unconstitutional this law on a grand scale, kind of like the Safety Act ruling did out of, of uh, Kankakee County. That's ultimately what we're looking for. We're looking for a final ruling that invalidates this law on Illinois constitutional grounds. But in the short term, any any injunctive relief would only relate to 
our particular client. Now, uh, the Illinois State Rifle Association filed their lawsuit in federal court late Tuesday. They put out uh, a statement yesterday essentially saying that with their filing, uh, that is going to, even though it's on behalf of uh, a resident in a couple of uh, gun stores, the State Rifle Association says that uh, it's going to affect all gun stores and also all citizens as that progresses through the courts. But that's a separate case. All right. Again, we've got three cases that have been filed so far, expecting more to be filed, challenging the state's gun ban. One is the federal case from the Illinois State Rifle Association and others. Another one is out of Crawford County from Attorney Thomas Mag, challenging the Fifth Amendment's uh, uh, violations, they allege, that that has you required to essentially incriminate yourself by saying that you own assault weapons when you have to register for those weapons by January 1st, 2024. But DeVore's case really focuses on the issue of equal protection. He says that the law, as the governor signed, violates equal protection of constitutional rights by carving out current and retired law enforcement, uh, jailers, uh, Olympic uh, shooters, uh, security guards uh, while they're in their official duties. Uh, So he says that you can't. He's arguing in front of court, you cannot uh, subvert citizens' constitutional rights in that manner, saying that these people can have these rights, but these people can't have these rights. So that's DeVore's argument uh, that he had in front of the uh, Effingham County judge. And again, uh, final words to DeVore to kind of wrap up what happened yesterday at that emergency hearing and uh, what, uh, what, what some of his major takeaways were. I don't think so. I think it's interesting that they tried to argue Greg, that, you know, they were able to carve out these exempt persons based upon training, which which contradicts, you know, they, they try to suggest that, well, the intent of this law is to limit the number of people that have access to these types of weapons. But we're going, so if we accept for conversation that that was their intent, their intent, how does allowing people to retain those weapons or to buy those weapons based on their training limit those the ability of people to have access to them it's contradictory so training and limiting the number of those guns in the and out in the market i don't think are parallel that's why i think the protection claim uh, carries today significantly we'll obviously have a lot more on this story as it develops with more legal challenges expected against the governor's gun ban here in the state of illinois and again expect some kind of ruling out of the effingham county court by the close of business on Friday. Uh, so we'll uh, have the latest there. If you want to follow along with me, uh, Twitter's a great place to stay up to date to the minute. Uh, Bishop on Air, just search Twitter for Bishop on Air, all one word. That's the handle, Bishop on Air. Also on YouTube, also on Facebook. Uh, but Twitter's kind of the place to go to get that uh, real time uh, latest updates. But we, of course, live stream each and every weekday morning here on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and on 92.7 FM in Central. Central Illinois. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out with us every morning, guys. Greatly appreciate your support.